thanks for joining us here at the Zotac booth at Computex 2017. Here I wanted to talk to you about the world's smallest Zotac G4 GTX 1080 Ti. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is our GTX 1080 Ti Mini. We first introduced the world's most powerful and smallest 1080 Mini, and we're continuing that legacy with the 1080 Ti version of it. It looks identical to the 1080 Mini. It has a single 90mm fan on your left, a 100mm on your right to focus on more maximum airflow. The one on the left focuses on your additional static pressure to keep all that cool air down where the components needs to be. What's also important is that we made this very color neutral so it'll match and go in with pretty much any existing systems that you have currently built, no matter what the color is as well. It has a very color neutral metal back plate, dual 8-pin power connectors, and it's going to be LED lit white on the Zotac logo and on the two additional white arrows here and here. But this is just one of the minis that we're showing here at Computex. The other one I wanted to talk about is the world's smallest water block liquid cooled ready Zotac GeForce GTX Arctic Storm Mini. So it's still using your standard G1 fourth fittings. It's going to have your aluminum block for the GPU making contact with the water block itself. And one of the reasons why we're using aluminum is to keep the weight down on the graphics card itself. So we'll have a nice acrylic top where there's an LED module right under this metal plate here. And it's going to be lit across the board in nice white color. So also as well, neutral color. So one of the reasons why we didn't support RGB on this is that the board itself is too small we couldn't fit the RGB module onto the board itself. We have your standard Zotac metal backplate that's also color neutral as well, so it's ready to go out of the box for your liquid-cooled system. Since this uses your standard G1 port fittings, it's gonna fit right into your existing liquid-cooled setup. So the 1080 Mini is gonna be available by Q3, whereas the Arctic Storm Mini is gonna be available by Q4. So look forward to it, so you can build one of the most powerful, small gaming mini PCs that you can build 